Hi students, this is another of our interviews. We have Dr. Richard Rice. Thank you for being with us. My pleasure. Dr. Rice is a professor of religion at Loma Linda University School of Religion. And he's also one of the writers, in fact, the key writer on the theoretical framework. And we're going to talk about that, but first, Rick, what is it to be Rick Rice? Well, that's, it's getting older all the time, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, I've enjoyed teaching. This is my 38th year teaching uh, on a college-university level. My wife's also on the faculty here, and we have two grown children and three grandchildren. So as we move along through life, we're enjoying uh, the various experiences that uh, come along. And it's fun to be by you, Rick. Oh, thank you. It's good to be with you, Johnny. Yes. The, the students obviously are across the span of the internet, and we cannot touch them or they touch us. But uh, we are interested in reaching out to them as much as we can. They are reading this book, and you have a central piece. Uh, what would you say? What can they find of you? What can they find of the theory? What would you say about your chapter? I think I would say basically uh, three things. One, that it's important to understand the complexity of human life in terms of the various dimensions that go into making a human being. Second, it's important to understand the effects that sin has had on these and the, uh, along with that, the effects that salvation or healing as a form of salvation can have in you know, responding to the damages of sin. Third, I think when it comes to ministry healing, uh, the example of Christ and his life and his ministry provide us a good model of what healing at its best involves. So those would be the three things I hope your students would uh, uh, look for as they read this chapter. Well, they have plenty to digest in okay. that sentence. Could we talk about the word ministry healing? Was it fun to work with that word? Well, I, I took a clue from the German language where uh, they put together big words by jamming little words together. And uh, the one that's most famous when it comes to the area of religion or theology is the conjoining of the words that mean salvation and history. So they put together a word that says salvation history, or in German, Heilsgeschichte. I'm probably not pronouncing it right. But it can go in two different directions then. It can be the history of salvation, or the history that saves, saving history. Mm -hmm. And so what I was thinking of, if we, if we want to put ministry and healing together, and we think of those as, as two important activities that we're engaged in, particularly in a a health sciences university that has a Christian uh, denominational orientation to it. We want to both minister to people and heal, but we want to do more than that. We want our ministry to be a healing ministry, and we want our healing activities, all the, the sort of the medical side of things, to have a spiritual dimension, to have a healing dimension. So I thought of ministry healing as a ministry that heals, and a healing activity that ministers. And so instead of thinking of, of ministry as one activity or one set of activities, the sort of thing that you and I might be involved in given our religious background, and then healing something that the health professionals involve themselves in, that what we do is bring together ministry and healing so that the health professionals see what they're doing as part of the healing, ex not only part of the healing experience, but part of the ministry. And those of us who are involved in, in attending more directly to the spiritual side of things also th see this as having an, a very important impact on the whole healing process, including uh, emotional, social, physical uh, healing as well as spiritual. And even the way that these emotional, social um, uh, activities that we convey with the word affect even the genome and, and its composition. They really do affect us. Uh, I think uh, Dr. Burke's contribution here, where he talks about humor and its relation, um, there's no way that human beings can separate one part of their lives from the other. So we know more, the more we learn about the brain, the more we learn about neuroscience, the more we realize that thought and feeling is embedded in a physical uh, matrix. And so our, uh, you might say, our emotional life 
Our mental life has a physical component to it. It's not just a physical effect, it has a physical component. And our physical uh, situation, our physical condition, has an inevitable component of emotional, spiritual, social, and psychological uh, overlay as well. So the, the, the person, the motto of Loma Linda University is to make man whole. Could be make everybody whole, but make human beings whole. The idea there is there's a vision of human wholeness as as uh, the human being is a whole of interlocking, interconnecting dimensions, none of which is can be isolated from the rest. And ministry healing is the way to make man whole or humanity whole. It's it's a view uh, it it it's a view of ministering to the individual uh, through the whole range of that person's needs recognizing that they're they're all all the dimensions are interrelated so there's no one part that's isolated or separable from the others and that's what uh, ministry healing that that sort of strange word that neologism or neologism however you say it uh, is attempting to communicate that kind of complexity now in the honor of ministry healing as we end this short clip would you be willing to share with us and with me a picture of your one of your grandchildren? I don't have it with me, but I can certainly send it on by email and you and can we will pass it, it along. And okay. you will <laughs> tell us which one. Who are uh, you going to send? I'll us? probably send you a picture of two of my two granddaughters okay. who are sitting on uh, a merry-go-round. Okay. <laughs> you will see it. All right. We'll Thank pass you. that right along. Thank you, Dr. Ramirez. Thank you. Uh, nice to be with you.